this is that uh, failed backing plate part I made a few weeks ago. The register feels fine but uh, the threads are really sloppy and very sharp. I was thinking uh, some of you might be interested in uh, how this uh, turns out. I know I said I was going to make a uh, cross drilling jig but uh, plans over here change all the time mostly due to uh, screw ups. I also had a bit of a cold the last couple of days and uh, I don't want to work in that uh, uh, cold and drafty barn for a while. In this uh, small room that uh, used to be cow storage that's to the side of the old barn is a bit warmer only a few degrees but uh, at least it's not drafty and uh, more importantly it can be heated because it has a ceiling but uh, unfortunately I just found out that my uh, little space heater has died I think uh, the bearings have uh, seized up and that's too bad because uh, I really like this uh, little old thing it's uh, great for uh, placing on the uh, lathe bed uh, for uh, blowing away cutting all smoke no uh, real need to blow away uh, smoke in the old barn because uh, there's no ceiling anyway I should have another uh, heater laying around somewhere Oh yeah, that's nice. I also uh, found some Christmas lights. So uh, let's make this a uh, Christmas special. Well look at that. Isn't that nice? Forget about the uh, Christmas tree. Just decorate the lathe. It's the manly thing to do. I never uh, used the uh, slides this close to the headstock and uh, things are binding up at the bottom of the lathe uh, bed so it looks like uh, I need to grind or file a bit out of the uh, slot that is on the uh, bottom of the bed that's done that was uh, harder work than I expected uh, on the plus side I'm uh, nice and warm now alright let's uh, let's cut off this groom this insert by the way is one of those uh, inserts I was uh, complaining about in the uh, previous video and by the looks of it it has already been honed once or twice by uh, yours truly I'm sure it hasn't done much work but uh, let's see if it uh, can handle some of this uh, hard groom stuff Maybe a little quicker. Nope. It doesn't sound good. <laughs> It dug in. Ooh, that's a nasty finish. And I think we lost the tip. I think there's a small piece missing there. It's hard to see. Yeah, let's try it again. Why not? Make it a lighter cut. Back to 400 RPM. Ah, that bass of cuts terrible.
I flipped the insert but uh, this side may also have been used we'll see a little deeper ah yeah much better a little slower Oh yeah, that will do. It looks like the uh, chips are getting hotter. I saw a bit of blue there. And that takes care of the ground. Probably hot. Wow. Not bad. Might be my uh, best surface finish ever. Without polishing. Let's uh, remove a bit more. Those chips are getting really blue now. Here we go again. Pass number two completed. There's a bit of a pattern in the uh, surface finish. definitely smaller towards the back so I didn't line up the uh, top slide let's see if I can uh, spin this off using this oil filter strap I don't think so but I'm gonna try anyway Yes, I got lucky. If it uh, hadn't come off, I would have uh, drilled a hole in here and used a hook spinner. Let's uh, put it back on and check the run out. If there is too much, well, if there is more than one hundredth of a millimeter run out. I guess this uh, movie is done. I don't think it will see that uh, exactly the same position because uh, I cannot get it uh, as tight by hand as uh, when turning the uh, ground. Look at that. That's pretty much perfect. So I guess this uh, video will be getting longer. You guys uh, do know what this is, right? It's a bluebird nest. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was pretty low. It's also uh, great as a Christmas decoration. By the way, check out that uh, dust on the headstock. So now we know that this uh, video is going to be longer, probably much longer. We better uh, do some Christmas shopping first. If everything went well, you just got a little brainwashed by the uh, YouTube advertising people. Don't be shocked, you could have known this might happen if you only had watched till the end of the uh, previous video. This is all part of my grand scheme to earn a little milling machine through my uh, YouTube activities. So just uh, take one for the team 
in time I'll uh, try to make it up with some uh, milling machine videos not that I know anything about milling machines but that's not going to stop me in an effort to uh, keep you guys in the loop I can tell you that the uh, previous video earned me an estimate of uh, $2.95 in the first day it's not a lot if you uh, consider the hours I put into making that video but it's actually quite a bit more than I expected let's uh, hope this video does even better wiping this down will probably uh, increase the risk of uh, contaminating the uh, bearings so I'll take apart the spindle uh, when I'm done with this uh, film and uh, flush it all out next I'm going to uh, turn down the OD to uh, 80 millimeters and that's the same as this uh, little 3 jaw bison chuck that I got from the flea market let's uh, remove a bit more scraptonium As long as I keep uh, pressure on the tool bit, it sounds fine. But as soon as I stop, bad sounds. I wish that uh, chip breaker did what it uh, supposed to do. I don't want to use any oil because uh, then the uh, room would uh, fill up with smoke in no time. I gotta watch out that these uh, chips don't end up uh, in the bearings. I just uh, measured the uh, front and the rear of the workpiece and it's about uh, two tenths smaller on the back side. So I set up a test indicator over here and I loosened up the uh, top slide a little and now I'm going to uh, bump the uh, top slide a tenth of a millimeter towards me. That should uh, set the uh, top slide pretty close to a parallel uh, with the bed. Something like this. Tighten it up again. Normally I uh, use this uh, shock absorber uh, between centers and uh, reference the top slide against that. But I didn't feel like taking off the workpiece. I will uh, shave off a bit more now. I measured the front and the rear again and it's now about five hundredths of a millimeter bigger on this side. I think that will be good enough. Um, I'm switching to uh, high speed steel because I had it with all this uh, long blue swerve I can make a nice set of uh, blue Christmas balls 
Um, I just ground a bit of a slit on the top here with the Dremel and I saw someone do that on the YouTube and it uh, should help break the chip so that's what I'm going to try now slow it down a bit uh, 400 let's do 400 But uh, hold on, here we go again. Ah. Hmm. It uh, looks worse than it is. It's not as shiny, but uh, it's not bad. Let's uh, just finish this cut. Maybe a little quicker. Well, that wasn't uh, perfect either, but... It was uh, better than all those long blue chips. I will try and uh, get this thing a bit sharper. Here I go again, hoping it's a little sharper this time. I don't know why it sounds so rough some of the time. Yeah. Well, the uh, service isn't uh, isn't better. It's uh, worse. Well, I'll get this down to 80 mm somehow. I took it very slow and careful, but I just cannot get a good surface finish on here. And if I speed things up a bit, I keep burning up the uh, pointy bit. Uh, these are the chips I'm getting. Um, there's about one tenth of a millimeter left to go, so I'm going to use this uh, round nose uh, tool bit. See if uh, I can get a better surface finish. And I'm using a little bit of oil, which probably shaves some hours of my life, but if I get a good finish, it's worth it. Looks promising. There we go again. Every freaking time. Well, that's uh, certainly worth a few hours of my life.
very acceptable. 97.95. Close enough. It gets a little rougher over here. But that should polish out. So now I have to make a decision. This here is the back end plate of that little chuck. And in order to mount that chuck, I need to turn down the OD uh, to about uh, 66 uh, millimeter in order to fit some screws. Um, if you remember from another video, the register in here is uh, 46 millimeter. So that leaves only one centimeter of uh, metal left on both sides. And that's not a lot, I think. The other option I have is to uh, drill through these uh, bolt holes and uh, stick in a bolt from the uh, front. And if I use M6 Allen head bolts that uh, should work. There is enough uh, meat on the side of this chuck to uh, uh, fit some bolts. None of the holes uh, interfere with the uh, jaws, although this one here is pretty close to the pinion gear, but I think it should work. Yeah, yeah, that will work. But doing it this way will mess up the uh, front of the uh, little chuck a bit. Not that uh, it would be terrible. There is a third option, but that means uh, quitting this uh, project. And I don't think that's a real option. This uh, spindle is just a bit uh, big for such a small chuck. As you can see I'm going with uh, option B. And uh, I believe I misspoke earlier. In order to uh, make those uh, bolts fit from the back side of the bagging plate I would have to uh, turn it down to 56 millimeters, not 66. So there would only be half a centimeter uh, left on both sides of the uh, register. And I think that would weaken the backing plate just too much. I'm going to drill through the chuck with a 5mm drill bit. And then uh, I will use the uh, chuck as a guide to uh, make the bolt pattern in the workpiece. And after that I will obviously countersink the front of the uh, chuck. Alright, let's do this. As you can see I got it bolted down here. to move the drill bit. Well I'll do this for uh, three more holes, well two more holes and then I will uh, cut a register for the uh, chuck on the workpiece. I think this will uh, work fine as a jig to drill the uh, bolt hole circle. If I cannot uh, get the workpiece off the spindle I might even uh, drill it uh, with the electrical hand drill. Looks like you guys are not seeing anything interesting with this uh, camera angle. This is the uh, best I can do. But you guys are pretty close to the uh, ball handle of the cross light. So uh, I might bump into the uh, tripod. Did I feed it into four? I guess I did. Nice curly chips, a bit like a drill bit. Yeah, still pretty much the same. It's shit and stays shit.
I just uh, killed off one of those uh, cheap inserts I was complaining about 4.4 millimeter a bit more and then I'll uh, cut the register bit of oil bit more speed Oh yes. And now the register. It has to be uh, 60... No. Uh, let's measure again. Uh, 56. Exactly. These are weird chips. They look like some kind of wool. Weird stuff. They are almost dust like. There is actually some dust coming out of the uh, leaf bit. It's a... Uh, what do you call it? Steel wool. That's the recipe for steel wool. 60. Four more millimeters. More steel wool. Anything is better than those uh, blue bastards. I uh, know I can make the register closer to the uh, uh, headstock. But uh, this way I got uh, two uh, chances to get it right. It's two millimeter deep. We're almost there. Six one. Uh, yeah, there's the problem. Minus a tenth of a millimeter. The crappiest file I could find. I'll let this uh, cool down till it is uh, about the same temperature as the uh, chuck. So I guess I'm going for tea now. That's still not going on. I just checked with the. Uh, test indicator there is now about one hundredth of a millimeter run out on the uh, workpiece actually it's a little bit less than one hundredth hmm. 
5599 I'll measure the uh, old backing plate again that's weird 5590 5594 this stupid caliber you cannot trust this bloody thing Still no go. And again, so close. I could heat up uh, this chuck and then make it a shrink fit. Not sure if that's the way to go. I just ran a piece of sandpaper through the chuck. That's still the same. It feels like I'm polishing off too much on the front and not enough on the rear. I'm dying to take another cut with the lathe. Now I want to grab the hammer, but I think I shouldn't. This is uh, slowly turning into the best polished register of the Netherlands. This is just stupid! Great, now it's 56.1. Oh, no, 56. Make up your mind. 55.97. God damn it. 55.97, I know. Goddamn random machine. I hate this with the Toya. But I hate that cheap one I had even more. This is going to be the never ending YouTube video. I'm giving up. Fire up the leaf. No, 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 not a good idea, not a good idea. You know what? I'll continue tomorrow. It's the next day. Actually it's the weekend and my uh, frustration levels have settled back to normal. Found some 220 grit sandpaper. So let's see if I can get this uh, finished. Yep, it's gonna be a long day. Now getting really close, but not close enough. Still very close.
I cannot take this any longer. Uh, I'm bringing the uh, leaf back into play. I want to take out a very small amount in the corner to get some clearance. Let's do some more polishing because it's such a lovely work. I'm glad it uh, will look much quicker after editing. I'm getting desperate here. I very carefully lined up the uh, cutter with the register. So here we go. Some material is coming off. It's very little. Here we go again. Well, that has helped. It goes on actually. It still is nice and tight, so I didn't uh, remove too much material. Finally! I cannot get it off anymore. So that's a tight fitting register.